Figma for Beginners The Basics Figma is an online design and prototyping tool. It's also a collaborative design tool for teams and designers. It's free to use, but it also has a paid professional and organizational plan. You can use Figma for UI slash UX designs, graphics design, wireframing, diagramming, brainstorming, and remote designs. Create a team project. Begin your Figma journey by visiting figma.com and registering for a complimentary account. The free plan encompasses three design files, one project, unrestricted Figma drafts, and access to FigJam. If your project expands, requiring additional collaborators and files, a paid plan may become necessary. However, for the purposes of this tutorial, the free plan suffices. Upon successfully creating an account, a pop-up will appear, guiding you to establish a team for your project. Moving forward, opt for a design type by choosing between Figma and FigJam. Since this post focuses on designing and prototyping, opt for the Figma type. Subsequently, choose a blank canvas to initiate your design, starting from a clean slate. The Figma Editor The Figma Editor is where you create your design files, prototype, and collaborate with your team. After opening up the editor, edit the file name by clicking on the word untitled in the center of the top bar. Let's briefly go over the editor's panels. Left panel. In the Figma editor, the left side panel hosts the Layers tab and Assets tab. The Layers tab is home to your design file pages, with the flexibility to add more pages, although the free plan limits you to a maximum of three pages. Here, you'll find your design layers, providing a platform to modify and reorganize every element of your design. Conversely, the Assets tab consolidates all the components and libraries you've developed for your designs. It serves as a repository for the building blocks of your projects, enhancing efficiency and consistency in your design process. Tools Pane The effectiveness of your design hinges on your proficiency with the Tools panel in crafting a comprehensive and meaningful design. Within the Tools panel, you'll find all the essential elements for constructing your designs. The arrow icon denotes tools dedicated to maneuvering design components, offering two distinct options. The Move tool facilitates adjustments to your designs within the editor without altering the design itself. Meanwhile, the Scale tool allows for the resizing of objects on the canvas, either enlarging or reducing them. The region tools are utilized to define specific areas on the design canvas. Positioned on the left side of the editor, the frame panel hosts a variety of frames, such as phone, tablet, desktop, paper, watch, presentation, and social media. For precise modifications, the Slice tool can be employed to segment objects within the design canvas. The Shape tool is a crucial resource, encompassing foundational building blocks like rectangles, lines, arrows, ellipses, polygons, and star tools. Beyond design creation, additional tools like Comment, Share, and play buttons are designated for collaboration and prototyping purposes. Properties panel. The property panel is where you'll edit the property of each object added to your design canvas. This panel is on the right side of the Figma editor. To understand this section better, add a frame to your design canvas. Go to the tools panel, click on the region tool, and then select the frame tool. On the right side of the editor, you'll see a list of frames. Click on the phone and choose the iPhone 13 13 Pro frame. Doing so will add it to your canvas automatically. You'll also see different properties for the frame that you, 
can add or modify in the Properties panel. You can rename the frame by double-clicking on the frame in the Layers panel. Next, edit your frame by adding a 352 by 329 pixel rectangle in the center of the frame and a 43 by 43 pixel eclipse just below it. Now, edit each of the properties of the shapes in the Property panel. Edit the rectangle's corner radius, fill, and stroke as follows, corner radius. Add 8 pixels on all the sides. To do this, go to the dimension section just below the alignment section. The corner radius is the 6th dimension on the right. Fill. This is the 5th section on the property panel. Click on the color box and edit the color to hashtag data and opacity to 79%. Stroke. This is the next section after the fill section. Change the stroke color to number 0000000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000 the line thickness to 0 0.5, and then the shadow to inside. Edit the eclipse like so, fill. Change the color to hashtag data and opacity to 79%. Stroke. Change the stroke color to number 0000000. 000, 000, 000, 000, 000 the line thickness to 0 0.5, and then the shadow to inside. Conclusion In this post, you learn how to get started with Figma. You created a design using the design tools in the Figma editor. If you're interested in getting started with UI slash UX design, you can check out the Prime course on Figma for UX slash UI design. Thank you.